How's it going guys? And welcome to another mold cleaning and casting video. Now I had a lot of requests last video to fill this up with something and uh, see what comes out. So we're actually going to be using what is actually meant to be used for this and this is a uh, clay slip. And uh, as you can see right now it's not really in any condition to be filled with anything. Um, if we zoom in right here we got to get a good look at all of this kind of dirt. So my fiance's mother got this from a woman whose mother collected these for over 30 years and at the time a lot of them were just openly sitting in her backyard and uh, the weather had gotten to them and bugs and uh, enormous amount of things. But the thing is a lot of them were still closed so the insides are relatively preserved but they do need a pretty big cleaning. So this one doesn't have a particular date on it but judging by the pitting on the outside and the other ones that I've seen, I would probably say this is at least 20 plus years old. But that's just a guesstimation. And if we look at this side, we can see that it is also caked in dirt. And then of course we have the inside right here that we're going to be exploring in just a moment. That's where the slip goes into. And then of course the other side's about the same. Interesting thing I did notice though is it almost looks like somebody tried etching something in here at one point. Kind of looks like IV ILK or something. Kind of hard to tell. But this says uh, Swants, I believe. Kind of hard to tell because the A is uh, a bit skewed by some of this um, dirt and stuff. But let's see what we can do on cleaning this up. So let's go ahead and do the big reveal and open this guy up and see what we're working with. Ooh. Alright, so this side's not as bad, honestly. It does look like we have some spider webs going on right there. Doesn't look like there's any spiders in there. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this real quick. So these are swans. So these are two different swans. It looks like. I'm pretty sure they're not ducks. And um, the dirt has just gotten all in these feathers right here and uh, over here as well. So that's going to be a bit of a cleaning with a brush. And then on this side, it isn't as damaged, but there is a lot of pitting right here because that's where that outside area was I showed you before. Luckily, a lot of that hasn't seemed to have gotten in here as bad as I thought it would have and that's actually just a spider web it looks like it's not a crack so it looks like we can work with this pretty well so let's start off with the side that is the most dirty and then start cleaning it out with the uh, brushes so the first thing I want to do is I want to use the bigger brush in order to try to get off a lot of this bulk because there's a lot of spider webs and just general stuff in here that I want to try and just get off as much as possible. Of course we're going to need to go in here and do a lot more work with an actual smaller brush. I still haven't been able to pick up the ones I particularly want. I found a paintbrush that has kind of a stiffer end to it and I think that'll work pretty good for what I'm going to be trying right here. If we zoom in right here we can see it's doing its job but it's it's still very very minute on its kind of uh, work that it's doing it's not like taking it all off you know it's gonna take a little bit to get all of this clean because remember we're gonna want all look at this look at that we're gonna want all of this completely cleared out of here because any kind of lump or any kind of uh, thing in here, it will deform the design of the actual mold. So if we had like a chunk on the beak right here, we uh, would get a deformed beak. So we're going to really want to get as much as possible out of these cracks. And it's hard because you can't really use water on these 
because these are designed to absorb the moisture from the clay and adhere so that you can get those, uh, those designs out, which is what it's meant for. So if you put water on here, it's just going to absorb the water. It's not going to really help you out too much. And then that would make it to where you can't immediately put the clay in after, because you'd have to wait for it to dry. As you see right here, this little tiny section, we're actually getting, we zoom in right there, this section right over here. Sorry if I'm bumping into my microphone right there. I'm not used to this uh, secondary setup yet. And my boom arm, or my microphone arm, I normally use is at my main one. So I have my blue snowball clipped onto this table. So it, it's just really hard to get into these little tiny cracks. But the cool thing is, is if the first time that you fill this with clay, you're actually going to be able to uh, get some of this stuff out of here. Like it can be a test run and you can get a lot of the um, dirt will adhere to the clay that you put in the first time and then you can just do it again and then by that time you've cleared out some of the gunk that wouldn't have come out beforehand. I don't know if you can see that, it's like almost smoking. There's so much going in there. I should be wearing a mask, but I don't have any, so we're just going to deal with what we got right now. Might be quiet for a second as I try and get some of this out. kind of feels like we're uncovering like a dinosaur fossil or something. I should take a quick camera cut and grab the compressed air and see what we're able to get out of this. Alright, so I used some of the compressed air and it definitely pushed out some of those uh, finer little pieces of dust in these wings. The problem with these little tiny kind of details in these wings is that they're very, very, very tight-knit together, so it's hard to get those tiny little pieces of dirt out, but we're definitely doing a pretty good job with what we have. I want to get some thicker brushes, and kind of like a toothbrush, to try to get some of this uh, stuff in these finer cracks out in uh, later projects. But right now we kind of have to work with what we got. You see, rubbing the brush on here does absolutely nothing. It's so far on there. This one over here doesn't seem to be as bad. So hopefully... This one will turn out better than this one. I don't have a lot of hope for that one, but you never know. It could. trapped right in here. It could also be clay slip that wasn't properly cleaned out last time this was used. We still got quite a bit of dirt in here. So that looks significantly better than it did before. It's definitely not perfect, but it is pretty, pretty good. I also have these which are um, sandpaper and they're good for removing, you know, larger things like these kind of black spots that we have going on right here. You can use the sandpaper to get rid of it. But you want to be careful on how hard you rub with this. Like I'm rubbing very lightly. 
in order to get these tiny little black dots off right there. You see, just kind of rub very, very gently. And unfortunately, this kind of shape of mold, you can't really use this on here because there's not enough space to have like a flat surface like right here of course like if we wanted to get rid of this thing we could just lightly move the sandpaper on it we could uh, start to lighten it up but there's not really a point because the slip isn't going to go on there the slip's going to go through these holes right here and then fill the inside of this and as much as I would like to get the rest of the dirt out of these smaller portions there's no way that we could use this without permanently ruining the uh, design on the wing. And as for the other side, this is the side that I think is going to come out the best. We have some spider webs in here, it looks like. Let's go ahead and pull these off. It looks as though this side has been preserved infinitely better. Like, go away. The actual indentations of the wings are are very prominent. I don't know if you can see this. Like, the shadowing on it is very, very prominent. I'm kind of confused to why one side is so much better than the other, given the fact that they've been clamped together. But maybe the side is just, uh, maybe it's slightly curved out. Maybe they're turning their heads. Because I did notice that this head right here, it is pulled out a little bit more. Because, you know, all the designs are kind of inverted. So you can't really tell all the time, like, you know, unless you're seeing in 3D um, <clears throat> how this is going to come out once the slip is put in. But most of this is, like, just kind of superficial dust on the top, not really anything that's going to dramatically affect. But I'm going to go in a little bit deeper in some of these grooves and try to get out a little bit more of this dust. But this big brush helps for... You know, just kind of the generalization of some of these, you know. Oh, maybe that is a crack. Oh, no, it's not. For the, just the generalization of getting uh, some of the dirt off. Might as well not use a small brush for a big brush job. And then we're going to use the compressed air. And there we go. I think this is pretty decent for the tools I have right now. I really, really wanted to get it a little bit better. But, I mean, there's only so much you can do. This side is going to be so much nicer, I believe, than this side is. Um, but this side is just so much more physically deteriorated than this side. Like, if you... Let's just try to see if we can zoom in on that again. This side right here, you can see just like the lightness and the kind of rounded fadedness of the wing design. And over here we have this kind of crisp look to the wing design. So it's probably going to be half and half, half really nice looking, half really not. Though the secondary design is probably going to come out pretty good. I don't have any, uh, I don't know, bad stuff to say about this, this one on this side. But lock it together. Hopefully it doesn't leak out too much. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this with slip with help with my fiance's mom. And then I'm going to wait an hour and the video will be cut. And then we'll see what is uh, coming out of this. All right, so it's been a little while and I went ahead and filled this with slip right here on the top. And the slip, it's been a while since I used it, so it's a little bit thick. So it might end up being a little bit awkward when it comes out, but hopefully we're going to be able to get those shapes. So let's go ahead and remove this Velcro that we have on the outside and see what we got to work with. slide this one off without having to actually undo it. There we go. Kind of kept its shape kind of interesting. 
Yeah, this has been in here for about an hour. Um, that was suggested to me to leave it in here a little bit more, but I really think we're going to be able to see the general shape now. So let's go ahead and lay this down on its side and see if we can wiggle these apart. Ooh, okay. Look at that. So it was actually able to keep its shape pretty well. And it looks as though this is the good side, if I'm not mistaken, of the, let me turn this around, of the uh, bigger side, the one that I said had the uh, nicer, let's kind of zoom in on that real quick, the kind of nicer um, kind of indentations. Let's see if we can pull it out from the other side to get kind of a look and see how our cleaning job did. Yeah, so this was the bad side, but, oh, bent his head a little bit, that's all right. It actually came out. I am super surprised. Let's move their head back just a little bit. I am really surprised that that came out. This thing is very old and very decrepit, but look at this. This can actually be fired and turned into a solid object and painted and everything. How cool is this? And those little imperfections right there that you see, that little line right there, we can actually just file those out and sand it down once it's actually dry. How cool is that? And then back again on this side, we can see obviously this side is the better looking side. But uh, I mean, honestly, I have an entire gallon, gallons and gallons of this stuff. You could mass produce these things right here. So let's go ahead and set this to the side. I'm going to see if we can lay it back in its little thing. There we go. And then over here we have the smaller one that I already had a feeling would come out better when it came to the details and the feathers. Let's go ahead and pull this out. popped out of there pretty well. And if we zoom in real quick, we can get a really nice view of the uh, feathers right there. That is so cool. And of course, it's still very dry and, I mean, it's still very wet and very malleable, so we don't want to uh, fiddle around with it too much. And then here's this side as well. And all of these edges right here can be cleaned off, of course, and, you know, as I said before, you can mass produce these things. It's very impressive how old this is and how well this came out. But yeah, really, really, really am impressed with this. And thank you guys for suggesting me to uh, go ahead and uh, put the slip in there and see what came out. A huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you want to see more videos like this and more mold cleaning and casting videos, let me know in the comments below. And let me know what your favorite part of the video was. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.